Welcome, everyone, and glad to have you with us from williams Bryce Stadium, home of the South Carolina Gamecocks. Hockey and all of his friends ready to go and amped up for what we have in store. Maybe you need a little caffeine, or maybe the sheer energy of this matchup will keep you wide awake as we know anything can happen when you kick off after dark. As we'll see a squad from the back, the Akron Zips, taking on a team from the SEC, the South Carolina Gamecocks. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. And the Gamecocks will put total leather and will get started. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. They challenge this crowd to bring the energy, and I'd say they're doing that. They'll ride the running back and leave it with it. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. You want to settle everybody in on the road? You want to take the nerves away? Run the football. Really, really good job. The offensive line, they're physical and nasty. They're not nervous. They're not worried about this crowd getting loud. They just want to hit you right in the mouth, and they started the game off with some good physicality. Right back to the well. He's got a yard out to the 30-yard line. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. This crowd trying to make life miserable for this offense. From the gun, running back gets to give. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Defense is about seeing it and pulling the trigger. You can tell they pull the trigger so fast. Get to the back, get him on the ground. Quick. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Back to pass, it's Fenley. Coming after it. Didn't have much of a choice there but to get rid of it. Yeah, it felt incomplete because great job of getting to the quarterback. He's in the pocket, yeah, he's, he's comfortable, but you get in there and you get a hit on him. Now he feels it, can't throw the football, can't follow through with his arm motion. Nice job by the defense. And the Zips will punt this one away. Not going to risk a return here. Calls for the fair catch and makes it just around the 30-yard line. Looking for a productive play on first down. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Going for a big play right off the bat. Grabs it up the 25-inch drive. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. The Gamecocks racing to the line in the hurry up. He'll do it himself. He rolls all the way down to the five yard line before they finally get him stopped. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea, because if he can get out in space and he has a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last play, getting a first down. Quarterback, quick pass to the receiver. What a job up front, and he'll lose a yard on that one. Got to give the defense credit. Watching film, anticipating. They knew that this offense had this play in their back pocket. They knew about the speed of this wide receiver in different ways they were going to try to get him involved. Everybody on defense on the same page playing together. I love it. The run up the middle trying to steamroll his way in. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. 
All right, so now you're in this third down situation close to the goal line, and it just feels, David, like they're going to have to throw the football in order to score a touchdown here. I like maybe trying to get the quarterback outside on the perimeter and give him a run pass option. I like that too. Get the quarterback on the move. And here's the thing. If I get close and I get stopped, it's fourth down. Fourth down means go for it. That's all that means now today in college football. Man, they just couldn't find a hole. Down in the red zone, the field shrinks so much harder to complete those passes. But fourth and short. Now, decision time, baby. And they'll send out the kicker to try a field goal. And he'll boot one from the right hash. He ought to be able to navigate that angle from this distance. It's good, and that was dead solid perfect. And that'll put the first points of the game on the board. It's three to nothing. Well, this team knew coming into tonight's game, they had to get momentum early, playing at home. They want to get the crowd into it. So you get a beautiful drive here to start this thing. You would have liked to cap it off with a touchdown, but listen, you set yourself up for a field goal. You knock it through the uprights. You've got the lead. Everything right now looking good. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. And he takes this from inside the five. And the return man has no place to run, no place to hide, and a place to be tackled. He'll start this drive firing quickly to the tight end. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Just a quick rhythm throw there and really good use of the tight end. Yeah, good use of the big fella. I mean, go through your progressions real quick. You can't find anything. Get the easy game. Don't take a shot down the field all the time. Take those shots later, but take those easy, wide-open opportunities to get some... Oh, look out! A huge play, and they get it all the way to the 45-yard line. Defense is going to have their hands full trying to stop this guy. They better rally to the football and get multiple hats because he is not easy to bring down. The Zips are in the hurry up. They'll ride the hot hand. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. Got three on first down at second and seven. Here's a quick throw out to the left. Makes the catch and he's brought down. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. Got it, looking for the first down. At the 20, he's got space. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Quarterbacks are just like anybody else. They get in rhythms. And to get in a rhythm early on third down and have a little success here and get the sticks moving, great chance to continue to get this offense moving down the field to get some more points. And the Zips are on the move. He'll pull it on the read. They stripped it out. Picks up the ball and tries to make something of it. Man, those are backbreakers. Defensively, you get so excited. You force the fumble, I'm going to get a turnover. And the offense falls. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. On the run, it's Simmons. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anymore. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. Looking to throw. It's Fenley. Fires into the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Zip. 
These two guys, they just shared a glance, and they knew exactly, exactly what to do, David. And how many times do we hear that, that the quarterback talk about it after the game and go, hey, I just looked at him. He knew what I saw. I knew what he saw. We're on the same page. We've done this before. That chemistry equals big plays. Lining up to add another. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. So a scoring drive there of 83 yards, and the score comes on a 12-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. Here's the return from inside his tent. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Rumbles ahead for a pickup of five to the 29. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest, pound that rock. And the Gamecocks want to pick up the tempo. They'll go right back to him. Good, solid pickup on that one. They've got it out to the 40, and it's first down. And here we go. If you're an offense, you've got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance, and then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. Yeah, exactly. And you know, coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least establish a semblance of a running game for exactly what you just said. you got to be able to use play-action pass later in this game to get some explosive plays down the field. And it's a play like that that we just saw which can help them get that going. This is a hard game and a hard position to play. But if you're the starter at this level, you cannot miss that throw. No, you can't. And they don't miss that very often. I mean, those are the throws that usually say big plays on. The receiver gets a step, gets open. That's not one that they usually miss. They'll give him four on that when it's third and six. It's quick tempo. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Caught over the middle, it's Sanders. And the completion gives him a fresh set of downs and keeps this drive moving. What a nice job finding the back on the angle route. That's a tough thing to come. And I love the matchup for this quarterback. He knew there on third down. He had the one-on-one -on -one with his running back and that defender. Nice job on the route, crossing the defender's face. Easy completion. The drive stays alive. Give to the back. Nifty little dance step. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. They'll leave it with him. He breaks a tackle. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Man, not much running room. He had to break a tackle and still break another tackle to try to get back to the line of scrimmage. Not good blocking on the play. But that's what coaches always emphasize, too. Never assume a teammate's going to make the tackle. You run to the ball, and they did it there. 100%, especially guys that are so big and strong and elusive nowadays. They're going to break tackles. Keep swarming. Keep hitting them. Next guy, don't, don't assume the tackle's going to be made. He's got it. They are on the move. As they pick up the first down, they'll spot it at the 28. Well, there's a great example of the receiver working back to his quarterback on the curl route against man coverage. He drives back towards the football, makes the catch, and gets the first down. The Gamecocks want to crank the tempo. On the run. 
It's Sellers. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Just didn't seem like the quarterback and his intended target were on the same page there. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. The lone back's got it. Shakes off the defender. They make the stop, give him three yards on the carry. Ball's at the 24. Oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. They've got a ways to go on third down from the 24 as this defense tries to force him into a field goal try. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the middle. And they can't make the play on third down. And for the second time tonight, they'll trot out the field goal kicker. The kicker will try to punch one through from 41 yards away. It's good. up to kick it off after that last drive put a three spot on the board and now the defense will try to shut him down on the run from inside his own five really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Akron has it back ready to send that offense back onto the field makes the quick grab at the 35 he's open and they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. An explosive play to start the drive, and they'll try to keep the D on its heels. Here's the handoff. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. <laughs> And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Yeah, I tell you what, I'm always keeping track as a defensive coordinator of where they're running the football. You can see they ran it to the right. Do they like this matchup? Is the right side of their offensive line really good? I'm going to be paying attention to that because that's a big game. i got to make sure I shut this down the next time they run it. Off play action on first down. Can't find a man, and he'll be knocked down at the 40. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. That's the last thing you want as an offense, a negative play, a sack on first down. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. A third down play to open up this quarter. Back to throw, it's Fenley. They're setting up the screen, running with power. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. 
They didn't quite get that route run deep enough to pick up the first down. Now they've got a fourth and short. And I think everybody at home tends to yell at their television set. Why aren't you getting past the first down marker? Why did you run your route short? Defense did a good job knowing where that was. But now, fourth down, offense has to make a decision. They'll run for it on fourth down. They stop him short of the marker and they'll turn it over on down. Here comes the offense on first down. And how about the defense coming up big on fourth and short? You know they're going to run the football. Great job stacking the box and getting the big stop. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered. And the Gamecocks in the hurry up. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Smashes through. That's why they love to feed this senior running back. He'll find those extra yards. That has got to be demoralizing if you're on defense because they just ran the ball right up the middle, down your throat, and they gashed you. Offense lines up for a first and 10 from the 43. The give to the tailback. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. Just kind of give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They run the reverse. That one did not go well. Tackled in the backfield for a loss of six. Third and long from the 42. If they can get some of it, it might give them a chance to go for it on fourth down. Looking for a man. It's Sellers. Got his man downfield. Really nice job to convert that third down, and they've got it at the 33. Man, we're seeing the tight end use more and more in the passing game. You, you see him moving inside. You see him moving outside. You see him moving in the box to block people. So here they put him in the slot and just have a nice little pitch and catch session. The Gamecocks are moving quickly down the field. Off the play fake on first down to throw. He's got it. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And the wide receivers have to understand what part of the field they're on. I got to make sure I have enough space when I run those out routes that when I break, I can catch the football and try to get upfield, get a few more yards. He runs out of space, but he got the catch. He got some positive yards. Relying on the run, he gets a couple before he's knocked down. Ball's at the 13. Man, that D-tackle's a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back, cat-like quickness. Operating in the red zone here on second down. They go to the ground. His way down a 10-yard line after a pickup of three. And the Gamecocks come line in the hurry up. Wide receiver shows motion. Out of the shotgun on third down. Let's it fly. He's got it in the end zone. Touch the Gamecocks. Well, that was a nice little pitch and catch there. And when you get in the red zone, you think it's run, run, the field shrinks. You see the tight end really come into play in this area of the field. The big body guys that you can fake a little run action and throw them the football for the touchdown. Lining up to tack one more that lead. 
And the extra point is good, and the lead is six. So they put together a nine-play, 75-yard drive. And they finish it off by connecting from about to kick it away after the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Zips take over at Akron, ready to get that offense to work. You could probably question the decision to pass on a field goal last time, and they came up empty on that previous drive, Jesse. I just think in this offense, it's going to come down to critical down and distances, right? Down in the red zone, third down, fourth down. I like them being aggressive. They just got to do a better job executing. Yeah, and they kind of know what the defense gave them last time. So let's be more aggressive and take advantage of that defense on this drive. Let's see what they've got on second down. Back to pass. It's Fenley. This one's complete. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. And that play just shows you this quarterback trusts his wide receiver because he knows that route has to be adjusted to get beyond the first down marker. These two right now really on the same page. Offense has it at the 28 on first down. Leaves it with the running back. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Well, the most insightful analysis I can come up with on that one is that didn't work. Back to the drawing board to see if there's something that works a little better soon. Or if I can quote the great Reese Davis, that was very ungood. Not a productive first down play. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. Caught behind the line. It's Wilson. And a good job in coverage there. They stop it after just a few. Nice completion, nice short gain. Now it sets up third down. And wait a minute, third down now becomes we're going to go for it on fourth down anyway, so it really doesn't matter that much. Great job getting a little chunk. Now we get to go have some fun. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. They're bringing heat. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. The defense was in the dime package. They didn't have to send an extra rusher. The big fellas up front took care of that. Yeah, and all Don means is I'm bringing an extra fast guy on the field and taking an extra fat guy off the field. But listen, the fat guys still get home. Isn't that beautiful? The big, athletic defensive line still does a great job getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground. The Zips will punt it away on fourth down. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Fair catch is made, but there is laundry on the deck, so we might be having a do-over. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Leaves it with the back. Finds enough room to get three out to the 34. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Wants to throw. It's Fenley. Got his man quickly. And he's down at the 41. That's a first down. we got to give the O-line a lot of credit there because it gave the receiver time to work all the way across the field on the drag route. Against zone coverage, quarterback gets it to him. He's able to turn it up and get a first down. And the Zips are on the move. They move the tight end all over. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Shoots it to the left. It's caught. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Just outstanding execution, continuing to work his way back through the football. Yeah, and everything about this route looks vertical. The comeback, it looks like it's a go. I'm thinking speed, and then he sets it down. QB puts the ball on the money, and he makes the play. They think they can impose their will here with the run to the right. Just trucks through it. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. First down, you know you always want to establish the running game. How about this offense? Nothing fancy. Run the football. Be physical. Get a big game. The Zips will line it up on first and ten. He wants to throw. Fires to the tight end. 
Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. You know, I know it seems like an easy pitch and catch, but for the tight end there, that route potentially changes if it's man coverage. So good job by him knowing it's zone. I'm just going to sit down. This is basically like a check down, right? Let's just take the easy pitch and catch and keep this drive going. Looking to pass on second down. Fires deep for the end zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. And that is a huge missed opportunity for the quarterback. You've got your guy wide open in the end zone. You're not under pressure. You just got to hit him. That ball got away. That's one he'd like to have back. Already well within field goal range. Wonder how aggressive they'll be on third and long from the 22. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. Really nice third down sub defense there at that time. It's third and long. They're expecting pass. They're mixing up their looks. They're trying to change the picture pre-snap to post-snap to confuse the quarterback. Now forcing the incompletion, setting up fourth. And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. Splits the upright. It's good. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Wasn't quite able to shake loose as he steps out of bounds at the 22. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. That last drive, an absolute aerial assault for the touchdown, Jesse. But it was a nice job in play calling, too, David. Just giving the quarterback some easy looks and reads so he could go out and execute. And he knew exactly where to go with the football. Everything looked really, really easy. He was hot. The ball was coming out of his hands. The defense better do something different. The Gamecocks moving quickly to the line. To the ground with the back. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. They're strong and they're strong. Defensive tackles, they're scrawl. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. Red pass, it's complete. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Ooh, and that was close for the offense. They try to go wide receiver screen. They're counting on that receiver beating that defender. Wasn't able to make a miss that time, but if I'm on offense, I'm going back to that play later. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Dropping back, it's Sellers. Fires to the right. He makes the catch. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. They just keep throwing him the ball this time on the slant. No doubt, man. And, and you've seen the slant. You've seen other routes. Every route he's running, he's good. He seems to be open. So I'm going to continue to pick at this matchup every chance I get. And the Gamecocks are flying down the field. To the air on first down. Grab behind the line. It's Sanders. On the move at the 30. Touchdown, Gamecocks. Hold it in and just kept right on running to the Hallelujah Land.
They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Akron has it back, ready to send that offense back onto the field. They are trailing by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You got to hold serve at this point, right? You got to drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close, David. And I think you're used to that as offense. Like, football is so fast-paced now, and you score so quickly, it's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. Finds his man. It's golden. And that defense is there to guide him out of bounds after a short game. And quarterback dropping back, understanding I'm getting zone coverage. All I got to do is be a little bit patient, manipulate that defense a little bit. My wide receiver runs that drag, and I get the first. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Fires to the middle. He's got an open man. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Wow, and what a great job by that quarterback finding his open receiver on third down. You know, guys, one of the most telling stats at the end of the game is third down conversion percentage. If you're a great third down team, it's invaluable to your offensive success, and that's why teams drill third down so much in practice. And the Zips come to the line with a new set of downs. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Not much of a chance there. He just had to get rid of it to avoid the sack. No gain on first down after the incompletion. Now, second and 10 from the 40. Off play action. Fires left. Wide open downfield. They make the stop, but the sweet pulling catch is plenty to give them a first down. When you run the football and then throw in the play action, it's such a tricky thing for the defense. Do I play run? Do I come up fast? It opens those holes right behind the linebackers and between the safeties to make the passing game just a little bit easier. Offense rushing to the line of scrimmage. Clock is stopped for the first down. They'll try to get it off quickly. He's going to pass. Makes the grab. It's Wilson. And here comes play number six of the drive. Looking to pass. It's Finley. Going to try to pop one on the screen. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. They were able to get the ball to the running back in space, but that space just evaporated. And a great job by the defense, man. It's tough to get those guys on the ground. They're so used to being having the football as running backs and making plays and being dynamic. So usually one guy not going to get into the ground. You want many guys swarming to the football trying to get that elusive guy on the ground. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Down to the 23 for this first and 10. He's looking to throw it. Quickly complete. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. You complete some of these hitch throws early, you're setting up the hitch and go. Later on, you can pump fake that, and then the receiver can pirouette right up the sideline. That might be a home run play for the offense. Caught close to the marker, it's golden. Defense makes a stop, but the chains move, and it's first and goal from the eighth. Well, the offense just taking what the defense gives them there. There's a lot of cushion out in coverage, so that was just too easy for the quarterback. Spits it out, and they pick up the first. The Zips want to move quickly.
The snap sets up the throw. Let's it go to the end zone. And they will score. Touchdown, Akron. And this receiver is on fire. He's got all the skills that you look for in a big-time target. That's already his second touchdown of the game. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. So an 82-yard drive there. And they finish things off with an 8-yard toss for the score. So here comes the kickoff after the touchdown. And the last thing you need right before the half is to give up a big return. From inside the 15, here comes the return. Maybe if he could have eluded just one or two more guys, it would have been a big return, but they'll mark it at the 30. They'll give it to the back. Breaks the tackle. That run epitomizes a veteran, savvy senior who knows how to find space. They'll immediately call timeout. Just enough time to get off one final play of the half. To the air, it's Sellers. He lost it high and deep down the left side. The pass falls incomplete, and that's how we'll finish this half. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Zips will kick it away to start the second half. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. He'll start the third quarter with the run. That one did not go well. Tackled in the backfield for a loss of six. Great discipline by the backside of the defense. This is my gap. This is where I'm supposed to be. Ball goes away, so be it. I got to stay home, stays home, makes a great play for a loss. So they'll try to get it going in the right direction this time, second and long from the 19. Off the play fake. He'll loft one deep down the left side. Makes the grab inside the 30. Huge plays like that can change the complexion of a game, and he's got it at the 22-yard line. And man, it has got to be so rewarding as an offensive coordinator when your play call perfectly counters the defense's call, and that's exactly what we saw there. That play targeted the coverage's biggest weak spot, and it led to a wide-open receiver. Looking for room, it's Sanders. Just keeps moving. They get him on the ground, but not before he rumbles all the way to the five. This is going to be a big key for him, David, with the lead here in the second half, running the football, right? Staying on the field and bleeding the clock. Yeah, run the football, you're ahead, you can be a little bit more conservative. But again, this opens up the pass. This keeps everything in balance for this offense. A first down run in the red zone his way into the end zone. Touchdown, South Carolina! And this running back is so dangerous down close to the end zone. He's got wiggle, he's got great vision and burst, and he showed all of those attributes right there. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they punctuated it with a five-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. On the move from inside is five. And the returner runs out of real estate as he goes down. 
the Zips take over in Akron, ready to get that offense to work. The deficit here is just 10 points, David, so a chance to answer here. Plenty of time left in this football game. No need to panic. This offense just has to put a couple drives together. And listen, the defense will get this back and get some stops forward and get you the football back. And I think, I think here too, David, you have an opportunity to keep the pressure on the opponent. Yeah, they just went down and scored, but you score here, and this game's still tight. You keep their feet to the fire, so an opportunity here to keep applying that pressure. Caught near the sticks, it's Adams. He's brought down at the 29 after a 10-yard gain. Yeah, he throw a little hitch route. Nice job getting the ball out of his hands quickly. Wide receiver, quarterback. Nice job being on the same page. Nice completion, nice catch. They'll start this one from the 29 on first down. From the gun to Gale, looking for room. Knocked down after getting six all the way out to the 34-yard line. Man, a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. The Zips hit it quickly to the line. From the gun, the running back has it. Still on his feet at the 45. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. And David, how demoralizing does it have to be for a defense when you know they're going to run it, everyone in the stadium knows they're going to run it, and still, you cannot stop it? There's nothing more demoralizing as a defensive lineman because it just it ticks you off. It gets in your head. You, you know that guy's going to come off and smack you, and you got to do something about it. I think the defense may be time to start committing more guys to stopping that run, not worrying about the pass as much. And this defense is going to have their hands full because they're going to need to be comfortable with guys one-on-one -on, -one on islands in the perimeter of the field. And they're just going to have to make better plays than what we saw right there. They knew this offense was going to try to be aggressive. Got to need better effort in the back end for this defense moving forward. Scanning the field, it's Fenley. He finds his man. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. The crowd getting behind this defense as they try to get a stop in the red zone. Out of the gun, the give to the back. And the Zips brought to the ground, but not before, picking up the first. You don't always have to run the sexy plays, right? It doesn't have to always be up-tempo and fast and spread and doing all this stuff. Sometimes you just lower your shoulder. Sometimes you just run powerfully. You get the first down, and that's all that matters. It is getting loud as this crowd tries to help its defense. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And how about the timing of the linebacker on the blitz to get in the backfield and get the tackle for Moss? Is there anything better for a linebacker than to run on a blitz and nobody's home except the back? Such a great feeling when, when the Moses parts the Red Sea and the hole opens up and you go fill it. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. Pushes ahead for a pickup of one down to the 13. to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Pressure all over the quarterback and down he goes at the 24. Sometimes you beat your guy and you get sacked so clean. And sometimes, like on this play, the DBs do a great job covering, make the QB hold the football, and then the rush gets home. And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. The kicker will try to punch one through from 41 yards away. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive.
After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. From inside the 10 yard line, he'll bring it back. And he'll be brought down after a solid effort on that return. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. Linebackers moving, trying to confuse the quarterback. The Gamecocks will hustle to the line. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Fires toward the end zone. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. And just got enough of the football there by the defender breaking on the football, getting his hand on it. He couldn't bat it down, but he got a fingertip on it, tipped that thing away from the receiver, made the big play, saving the touchdown. Now second and ten. Dropping back, it's Sellers. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. At the 45 on his way. Plenty of room on that play, and they find their way to the 36. The execution on that screen pass is one that will go into coaching clinic. Nice execution on the screen. Allow the rush to come upfield. Now I release, get the ball to the running back. I got my playmaker in space. Nice chunk yardage play right there by the offense. Fast motion from the offense. The give to the back. And a good solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. Eight yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and short. Running back has it. He makes the tackle at the 23-yard line, but not before a pickup of five and enough for the first down. And that's all you want, right? You want that first down. Uh, understand the situation. Understand I got to get north and south, get a first down, get a new set of downs. And the Gamecocks will snap it on first and ten. ahead he's down at the 18 after picking up five I, I like it just frustrate the defense get that five to six yards make them honor the run make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively halfway there on first down it's second and five the offense showing motion from the tight end trying to get a read on the D handoff from the gun He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Man, oh, man, am I upset at my offensive line to give up penetration that fast? Man, we blinked and missed it. Hey, he barely got the ball. He just got destroyed immediately. What a great play. Already in field goal range, but now trying to convert this third and long from the 20. To the air. It's Sellers. Go toward the end zone, picked off right at the goal line. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Really nice job there by the defense, because I think they baited the QB into trying to fit that one in over the middle of the field. Remember, it's a big zone coverage. They've all got their eyes on him back there in the pocket, and they just let him feel like, maybe I can fit this football in. Not so fast to come away with the pick. Akron has it back, ready to send that offense back onto the field. Guys, that last trip a little disappointing having to take the three. Yeah, I think, Jesse, you see so many offenses talk about getting yards and the tempo and all the stuff they do. It was a nice job moving the football, but they got to get in the end zone this time. Yeah, and I think to do that, they just got to be more physical at the point of attack, get some push up front. They need to be the best running team in this game to win. Second down coming up. He's looking to throw. 
Fires into traffic and intercepted. Looking for more room. And he's going to take it all the way. Touchdown, Gamecocks. What a play by this defense with the pick six. And how about the defender? Exactly what you're supposed to do. Breaks on the football, makes the interception. Everybody on defense, we turn to offense, go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take it back to the house. He'll try to tack on one more. The kick is up and good. It put one more on the lead. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. The returner will field it and bring it back. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. The Zips take over in Akron, ready to get that offense to work. Running back searching for a hole. Man, not much wiggle room for the ball carrier there. I'm not really sure what they can do to try to create some space. I know. Block that. How about the offensive lineman push some guy backwards and make some holes? They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. On the move, it's Fenley. And he is snowed under. Sacked at the seven. They'll tell you that somebody's always going to pop open, but it didn't happen in time before they got the sack. No, it did not. And you know what? I'm going to remember this. I'm going to remember zone defense. They didn't really have an answer. They weren't ready to get rid of the football. Quarterback hesitated. I got to him and got him on the ground. Might be a good call later on in the game. The roar of the crowd trying to fuel this defense to keep them pinned in their own end. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. It's incomplete, but here comes the flag, and I think it's going to be a first down. The defense in a most benevolent move, giving the offense a new set of downs. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Looking for a deep man. He's got it down the right side. And the explosiveness, the big gainer gets it to the 49-yard line. Man, if I'm a defense, i got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. i got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. The Zips racing to the line in the hurry-up. The give to the running back from the shotgun. At the 35, he's got four. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Man, that's excellent blocking there on the left side of the line. They were able to get great push, get off the line, create a little bit of crease for that running back. They just created a wall. He had all kinds of room to run. Yeah, I might, I might go back to that one and call that one again. It works so well. Wide out in motion. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. And this one will be stopped for no gain. The first thing you have to do to make these plays successful offensively is I have to block the edge. I, I got to get my speedster in space. They didn't do a good job of getting that guy out there in space where he could really use his jets. Nice job by the defense understanding it, seeing it, rallying to it, and tackling that guy for a loss. Trying to get the edge with a quick touch pass. He has the first and still on his feet. And he's brought down after a nice game. It's so important this offense is able to get this guy the ball in space, especially on the perimeter of the field. And I love that last play call because he's able to get outside and use his speed. To me, that's where this guy is his most dangerous. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Adams. And as they get him to the ground, clock running looks as if time will expire here in the third. 
using him out of the slot, he has just been unstoppable. And I love putting dynamic athletes in the slot that I can move around, that I can put in motion, that I can, I can make him go in or out. I can put him off the ball so you can't get hands on him. And they've... Touchdown, Zips! And they take it in for six more points. They got the score they needed, but this isn't over. No, don't call it a comeback yet. The first part, step one accomplished. But this offense obviously still has work to do. But the defense has to go out and get a stop and get him the ball back. This quarterback obviously did a lot of film prep coming into this one. He has been picking this defense apart. With that last completion, guys, he's now got over 300 yards passing. Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. They march 78 yards down the field, and they finish it with an 11-yard touchdown dart. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25, he's brought down at the 26. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. Takes the handoff, it's Sanders. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. As an offense, you've got the lead, you've had success running the football, you hope that this play is just a blip because you know you're gonna have to lean on your bell cow running back to ice this game and close it out. The Gamecocks are in the hurry up. They'll try to get the edge with the toss play here. Forges ahead, picks up about three to the 29. Ball's at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. Motion from the offense. On third down, going up top. Safe completion on the screen. They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. Hey, really nice job on defense, too. Understanding the situation. It's third down. We're fine giving up completions right there, but we're not giving up the first down. We're keeping the football and the ball carrier in front of us, and we're tackling the catch. Awesome job, and now you've set up fourth down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Bringing it back, it's Golden. They'll put that return to a stop with the 33, but the offense set up in pretty good field position. Akron has it back, ready to send that offense back onto the field. Off the play fake on first down. And it was worth the gamble, but the long pass is incomplete. Well, the defense didn't get caught napping there. In this situation, you know they have to stay alert for the deep ball. Yeah. So what defense am I going to call? I'm going to keep some DBs back deep. I'm going to keep my safety a little bit deeper. Understanding they're down. They're going to have to attack down the field. I'm going to stick to my passing sets, my nickels, my dimes. Fires to the big fella. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there. And he stopped from getting the first down. You know, David, this is really what game managing is. Nice pickup on second down to help them on the next one. Yeah, I think people look at that negative sometimes, finding a quarterback that's a game manager. No, use your brain. Set up good situations. I'm, I'm way more successful when I can keep those sticks at a more manageable situation, and I'm not as predictable on a third down. They were all over him. Nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. And the Zips decide to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Just needs a crack to get a return. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. Hand off to the lone back. Knocked down after getting six all the way out to the 34-yard line. 
when the offense can run the football and you can feature a guy like this that will get more yards in his block that you can really depend on, hangs on to the football, like it makes offense super easy, especially down the stretch when you want to eat that clock and you want to possess the football. Just nice to have that kind of guy. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. And this guy really has been a workhorse today. He's made plays when his offense has needed them the most. He's a guy who's reliable. They know they can turn around, give him the football, and he'll go make things work out. They're going to need him to finish this game. He has to continue playing well after that big run there. The ball and throw off the RPO. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. And the Gamecocks want to pick up the tempo. He'll keep it himself. And eventually taken down. But what about that spin move? Gives him the first down yardage. And how nice is it to have a guy that can say, I'm just going to go get the first down. Like, I know I have options. I can do X, Y, and Z. But I'm just going to let me run it go get the first down and give myself an extra set of downs. The give from the gun. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Win with the running game on first down, now back at it. He'll try it again. Got the first down and still on his feet. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. Well, the defense didn't blitz. They didn't have everybody in gaps, and the offensive line took advantage at the point of attack, getting some push, opening up a hole, and the offense ripping off a nice run there. The Gamecocks have it with a first and ten. Give to the running back. Just does not like to be tackled, discarding guys and getting to the 21. Man, that's the advantage of having a good coaching staff that teach these players in this type of situation with the lead late in the game. You want to stay in the field of play and keep the clock ticking. They do that after that nice run. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Oh, and they'll try to catch him with a pass. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. They'll finally put the brakes on him at the three. A big throw catch and run on that one such a tough spot to be in on defense because you're trailing you're expecting the offense to run the football they just did it on the last play and then on a critical third down they go play action and they throw it over your head you got to feel for this defense powers forward and they try the middle of this stout defense and they rise to the challenge Great team defense on that run play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. Looks as if he's going to run it. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Gamecocks. Offense gets the job done again. You want to build that cushion as we get deeper into the second half. Man, it makes it easy, doesn't it? You start getting up by a couple possessions, making the offense very predictable on the other side. Great job by the offense extending their lead. attempt to try and the extra point is true and they have a two touchdown lead up 14 in the fourth they march 72 yards and close the deal with a three-yard touchdown run 
They're just about ready to kick it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Zips take over in Akron, ready to get that offense to work. Trying to find his man on first down. Oh, he drops the football. He had him right down the gut of the field. Instead, it'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Looking downfield, it's Finley. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. They make the stop after the catch. It's still some work to do to pick up that first down. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? You've got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. You're going to win this game. Good, solid pick up on that one. They've got it out to the 40, and it's first down. And on third down, he calls his own number. Really nice job by the quarterback making the decision, being decisive. He does a good job going, getting the first down, a new set of downs for this offense. The offense lines up at the 40. They've got a first down. Hand off from the shotgun. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. Trying play action. They're trying to get to it. Got him downfield. Gets away from one. Finds some space. And he was on his way. Gets it all the way to the 38. And no messing around right now if you're on offense. This is the time where execution has got to be at a premium. You need to hit completions, David. They need some big plays. Yeah, and you just want to keep pressuring them and keep making them use the clock, give them the underneath stuff. And again, when they drive the football down the field, I just can't give up touchdowns. Field goal at this point is not going to hurt my defense. Quick completion to the right. Powers through. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Man, this guy is so dynamic, and that's why you want to try to get him the ball as many ways as you can. That time, it's a screen throw, and he had some nice blocks downfield, but with his speed and elusive running ability, this dude is dangerous. The Zips want to crank the tempo. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Got it. He stopped just short of the goal line at the one. An explosive play. Has him set up. This is an offense that has skill. They've got speed. And because of that, this defense, they can't lull themselves to sleep. They've got a big lead here late, but they've now given up back-to-back -back big plays. they got to put the clamps down. First and goal, and this feels like their chance to make a game of it. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Akron! So they get that score that they so desperately needed, and now they've got a chance to pull this one out. Defense has got to give them a chance. The defense needs to get the ball back to them quickly so they can march down the field and try and score and narrow the gap again. This offense, they have the playmakers to come back and win this football game. They're going to need some help from the defense. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. They march 79 yards on the drive, and they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. From inside the 10, here he comes. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. They'll try the run. Finds his way ahead for five, and now they've got it at the 28. 
Late in football games, I have a plan. I'm going to run the football. I want to put my quarterback in great situations if I do throw it. Low risk. Keep that clock moving. Get a few first downs. And if I get a few first downs with that clock moving, I get the W and get out of here. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Quick pass on the jet motion. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. Really good job by the defense seeing it and going and getting it. Nice job understanding the touch pass. It could happen. Those guys go in motion, man. I got to understand, safety's got to see that, start flying down, getting ready to play that. Nice job by the defense being ready for that play. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Back to throw, it's Sellers. Get it out on the screen. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. And you just get the feeling that this defense has to find a way to get off the field and get the football back at this juncture of the game, trailing late if they're going to win. And the Gamecocks in the hurry up. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. In football, you hear the term quick, but don't hurry. And you could tell when you run these RPOs, the QBs want to make that decision quick. And he, I think he hurried it a little bit too much. Got the ball out quick, but obviously it was inaccurate with his pass. After the misfire now on second down. They'll run if they want to take their time here. Nowhere to run on that when he loses four on the carry. Defense doing their job, getting that last stop, and now third in California. Not a lot of play calls to convert this, so defensively, let's get off the field now. The clock's running. We need to give it back to our offense with as much time as possible. Big third down play here. If they get a stop, you'll see an immediate timeout. Linebackers shuffling around, trying to keep the quarterback from getting a read. Give to the running back. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. The Gamecocks send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll get it to about the 25 before they put a stop to the return. Akron has it back, ready to send that offense back onto the field. Looking to throw, it's Fenway. Tight end finds a soft spot. I think in this situation, two minutes trailing late, I think you got to be thrown to the sticks every time. I don't know if these short completions are going to get it done. You're just not going to have enough time to get down the field. So from a play calling standpoint, I think you want to think about being a little bit more aggressive. That last completion sets him up on second down. He's looking to throw. Grabbed over the middle. It's Adams. To the 43-yard line and a first down for this offense. Nice job by the receiver there, running the drag route against zone coverage, finding the soft spot, making it easy on his quarterback to get the completion. He turns it upfield and he moves the sticks. Trying to get everybody set with the clock still running. They'll throw it on first down. Fires to the wideout. Just too much juice on that one as he airmails his receiver out of bounds. This really has been a master class by the quarterback with decision making, right? We've already seen him throw multiple touchdown passes in the game. He's understood when to take his shots and when to throw it away when things aren't there like on that last play. Got to get everybody lined up quickly. Time winding away and they've got to push the ball down the field. And he can't get it off, taken down. What a huge play this late in the game. Calling a timeout here, you have to avoid making a mistake in this situation. On third and long, he's gonna have to turn one loose downfield. 
just threw that one away to avoid disaster. Well, they're trailing in this game late. The defense knows it, so they're playing for pass. Two plays ago, they get the sack. This time, they force an incompletion. Not a lot the offense can do here to catch them off guard. They're just going to have to make a huge play here on fourth down. Down of possession here in the fourth, and they'll need to convert on this fourth down. It's incomplete, and they desperately needed to keep that drive going, and they couldn't make the connection. And the quarterback will just drop to a knee. 